Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carols singing, favorite season. Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carols singing, favorite season. Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. I'm so excited to be able to share this with you. It's something I've wanted to do for so long. While I was filming this video, I just remember tearing up a little bit because I was so happy that I was finally able to decorate my daughter's room. For the longest time when I was trying to grow our family, I had visions of not only just having a baby, but things like this, like decorating their room for Christmas. These are things that I really look forward to and I thought maybe I would never be able to do. And finally, I'm able to do it and I'm so excited. So I really worked really hard on this video. I wanted to make the room perfect for snow. I want her to be able to grow up and each year she gets older, love her room at Christmas time and make it something special and something for her to look forward to. And I really hope she loves it and I really hope that you guys love it. So if you wanna see how I decorated Snow's room for Christmas, keep watching. This is Snow's room right now. We just got back from traveling and we have a ton of stuff that we just threw in here. So we're gonna clean this up and get decorating. Well, I'm all for Christmas. All the happy smiles and the wishes. And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe. you're missing so if you guys notice if you've been watching some of my past videos you'll know that I'm using my all-purpose cleaner that I DIY'd with you guys and I have to say out of all the DIYs that we've done together on this channel this is probably one of my favorites and one of the ones that I use the most and absolutely love so if you haven't seen that video I'll be sure to link it down below if you want to check it out so right now I'm just doing some laundry I'm taking these winter snow sheets I say winter I live in LA so it doesn't get that cold here but it does get a little bit colder and we like to use flannel sheets so these have just been stored and I just wanted to wash in wash in <laughs> that's not a word I wanted to wash them and freshen them up for any guests that we have coming and staying and also because it is colder in the house and outside I like to use the flannel sheets so that's what I'm doing now so while the bedding was being washed, I decided to go ahead and vacuum Snow's room. Although, I would like to save you a little bit of time. If you guys are doing something similar, I would recommend waiting to vacuum the floors after you put up your Christmas tree, after you take out all your Christmas decorations. As most of you know, Christmas ornaments are very messy and sometimes so are the artificial trees. And so I ended up having to re-vacuum the whole room again. So that might save you a little bit of time if you want to try out that little tip. So now we're getting ready to do one of my favorite things, set up everything, get all the ornaments and decorations out. We are getting all of the ornaments out and if you're wondering why I have them in a suitcase, it's because I actually bought a lot of these ornaments in Colorado with my sister Chantel. Uh, she's also on YouTube, Chantel Mom of Three, and also on Instagram. She is amazing. She's an interior designer and she always helps me out and I was really sad that she wasn't here with me this year. She wasn't able to help me decorate for Christmas but she did help me out so much. She like sat down with me and on a piece of paper she like wrote out like what she thought I should do and she's just amazing and I'm really lucky to have her, uh, but I was a little sad that she wasn't there. It wasn't the same. Christmas is not the same without Chantel helping me decorate, um, but I think I did pretty good. I, I, I learned from, you know, an expert, and she taught me well, so now I'm just setting up the Christmas tree. This is actually the tree that we've had for years. If you've watched our videos, you'll know that this is the same tree that Travis and I had in our apartment when we lived up north in California. And we it's been going strong and it's from Walmart and it's such a great tree. And then this wreath I actually got at a store called At Home. And I'm going to try to link as many of the things as I can down below in the description in case any of you guys are wondering where I got a lot of this stuff. But you'll actually be really surprised um, to know that I spent very little money on majority of these decorations. A lot of the places I went to were flea markets, thrift stores, the dollar store, Walmart to get a lot of these decorations. So you really don't need to have a lot of money or spend a lot of money on Christmas to make your home look beautiful and sophisticated and, and um, elegant. Um, 
So for Snow's Room, I just wanted it to be very soft and feminine and, you know, just like kind of like a sophisticated, elegant type of vibe, I guess you would say. And so this is what I went with. There were a lot of things I put on the tree and then took off because I didn't like the way that they looked. Um, so a lot of trial and error. Another fun Christmas tip is I actually got a bunch of these flowers that I'm holding these like artificial flowers or roses from the Dollar Tree. And I found like the prettiest ones I could find that looked expensive. And I just pulled them off. They come off really easily, just the flower parts. And I just stuck them in the tree. And as you can see, it just adds such beauty and elegance. And I just loved it. So that's a fun little hack. And then these little stick things with the balls all over them. I'm not sure what they're called. Can you guys let me know what those are called if you, if you know in the comments? Um, I just think that these are really pretty. My sister actually told me stick a bunch of these in your tree for filler and you'll be surprised at what amazing difference it looks and I'm really glad that I did and I got a bunch of them and as you can see it just makes it look really fun. So if you're doing different colors like maybe you're doing a like candy cane theme and it's like you know traditional red green and white colors if you get some of the red ones to put in your green tree oh my gosh it just looks like so fun and magical and I would highly recommend to get these little stick things if you don't already have them. Oh my gosh, you guys, I totally forgot to tell you. Okay, so you have to watch till the end of the video because this whole time that I was decorating Snow's room, she didn't see any of it. We didn't want her to see it because we really wanted to get her reaction to what it looked like when it was all done. And oh my gosh, you guys, I can't even tell you. My heart completely melted when she saw her Christmas tree for the first time and what her face looked like. So be sure to watch her reaction at the end of the video. Um, but right now, all these little snowmen and the deer antler horns that I absolutely saw and fell in love with and was like, oh, that's literally what I said in the store. And I actually scared the lady next to me because she thought like there was like a spider or something. But I just looked at her and I said, I'm so sorry. I just get so excited for Christmas. <laughs> she probably thought I was a nutcase and she would be right. I am a nutcase. But I love these ornaments. So I'll, I got them from Walmart. But again, I'll let you know down below. I keep telling you, I'll link stuff down below. Um, so I'm just putting the sheets over into the... Uh, dryer. Yep. It's called a dryer, Shannon. <laughs> and drying them. And also I just have to say, I don't know if any of you guys have a duvet cover or a duvet, but, um, I like want to ban those in my house because they take way too long to get off and back on. <laughs> so I'm like done. I'm not doing duvets anymore. Uh, so what I just put up and my lovely husband helped me are these curtain lights and these are so awesome They added so much wonder and just like fun to her room. I love twinkly lights just lights in general for Christmas, they make me really, really happy and excited. Am I the only one? Or do you guys get excited about like lights? I don't know why, but they make me so happy and feel so warm and fuzzy on the inside. And I just love them. So these made me really happy. Um, and they're really inexpensive also. So if you don't have them, you should definitely get them for Christmas. Also this little like decor area, I ended up changing a million times. So you'll see what I ended up going with by the end of the video. Um, and just so you guys know, Snow doesn't actually sleep in her crib yet. She is still sleeping in our room in her pack and play. These decorations are purely for decor purposes. I don't want anyone to get worried and think that, um, you know, I'm putting hazards in my baby's crib because I end up putting ice skates on them later on in the video. <laughs> so don't be alarmed. So I ended up just putting old Amazon boxes around the tree and I'm actually going to wrap them and make them really pretty uh, so that it's like filler for underneath. And then I actually got this sled and I spray painted it to the colors of you know, her theme. And then I got these old ice skates at a flea market. So I thought that was like a fun little touch. And then I even found some old skis that I also spray painted to match her color scheme. I got those at a thrift store for like really inexpensive. And this little lantern I also got on Amazon. It was actually red and we also spray painted it, kind of matched the color scheme. And so right now I'm just kind of staging the boxes where I want them to go so I know what sizes I want. And then I'm going to wrap them and put them around the Christmas tree and we're getting close to being done. I also put the topper up. I had to go to Target late last night and pick that up because I realized I didn't have a topper that I liked for the tree. So 
that's the one that I got. And now we're going to wrap some presents, put them around the tree, add some last minute touches, get this room cleaned up. Also another tip, sorry, I'm out of breath. I like just ran up the stairs, but another tip that you can do is I like to take these stockings and I stuff them with like tissue paper or whatever you have lying around your house because it just um, really makes it look really nice. And then I also like to just put like a fake little stocking stuffers or real ones um, in the top, like coming out. You could do candy canes or whatever. Uh, so that looks really cute. So I'm actually gonna hang that up there and then hang the stocking and we have her little initial for her. Um, so yeah. And then I'm still deciding what I wanna do here. I haven't really decided yet how I want that to look. I thought it looked a little crowded yesterday, so I um, wanted to just kinda of make it more minimalistic and clean looking. So I took out some of the other colors that I thought were too bright pink for the room. So that's what I'm currently doing. So I just quickly wanted to show you because these are just staged gifts, um, they do not have wrapping paper all the way around them. I literally used all of it, <laughs> wrapped just the pieces that you're gonna see. And then I just put them all around the tree. Now this is another great tip. If you have small children and you don't want them to pull all the ornaments down or the tree on themselves, um, a great idea is to put a bunch of really big heavy gifts around the tree so that they can't actually get to it. Um, it kind of baby proofs the tree, if you will. Um, this is obviously not baby proofed, but don't worry. Like I said, it's just for decor and she's not in this room unless we're right there with her. So I don't want anyone to get worried about the little baby. Don't worry, she's in good hands, I promise you. Um, so yeah, definitely a fun little hack if you do have a tree downstairs that you wanna kind of baby-proof. So again, this little area, I end up changing so many times. Um, I'm not a decorator or an interior designer, and so it takes me a long time to make something try to look good. And yeah, also, I'm vacuuming the bed because the Christmas ornaments and glitter were everywhere. Uh, I don't really do glitter anymore, like glittered ornaments, because I actually um, scratched my eye with glitter. It got in my eye and it like scratched this, my eye, and so I'm scared of it now. It's kind of inevitable. You you get glitter everywhere when you're doing Christmas stuff. Even if you didn't buy glitter ornaments, take it from me. Uh, so now I'm just putting all the bedding back on the bed. If you're wondering why there's a bed in my daughter's room, um, it's for guests because we don't have more bedrooms. So, so they stay in this room and the bedding is all from Target. So you might notice that I moved some of the little decor pieces um, from different places that you might have seen me put them earlier in the video, but in just a little bit, we're going to take you inside and show you the final look and reveal of the room. I'm gonna show you what it looks like during the daytime and then also at night, and then you're gonna see Snow's reaction. So enjoy. <music>
really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you again so much for watching. I really do appreciate you guys and I love you so much. I'm sending you all my love and all my positive energy and I hope to see you in my next video. Mwah!